Do you see this area? It's so quiet and it has so many office buildings. And yeah, one of all and one of these buildings is also my office. So Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk about how I was able to find a job in Germany and an English speaking job, how difficult it was, what process I had to go through, which platforms did I use to apply for uh, the job. So I'm going to talk about everything in this video. This place is super amazing, super nice, super calm. And yeah, so this is a perfect place to talk about where can you find job because here every um, in Düsseldorf every company has uh, their headquarters or office in this area this is called Media Hafen. So you can see there are a lot and lot of buildings like I showed you. So stay tuned and watch this video till the end to understand how was the process and how you can also come here in Germany um, yeah, to work. The first thing that I want to tell you is it wasn't easy. So finding an English speaking job in Germany was very competitive because um, there are very less jobs that are demanding these English and uh, they are very competitive. So many people apply to these jobs and also uh, most of the jobs are asking for German skills which I didn't have that much but right now I am at even level learning with Lingoda as you already know if you don't know check out the link use the code it's a great platform to learn German and you will also get some discount if you use my link so that was the day I was giving the interview for this current job and right now I have completed six months already and this is a good time to talk about my job because I've completed the probation period which lasts for almost six months Hey, so as you can see in the clip that I was giving my interview, it was an assessment center for the current job that I'm working right now. And yeah, it was almost one year back. It was the month of June. Um, so yeah, so I didn't know whether I will get the job, but I was really hopeful because my interview was awesome. So now let's talk about which platform did I use to um, apply for the jobs. So the first platform that I used was indeed so indeed.de i will link all the platforms in the description so do check out the description so indeed.de is very much used in germany and usually it's for free for the company to post so many companies use that also there is a platform called stepstone.de which is also quite good um, to use if you want to um, I mean if you're looking for a job you can check out the description and also check out whether uh, your job uh, what you're looking for is there or not what uh, things they are asking for or you can also check them out for yeah what are the requirements which skills do you need so basically I used uh, stepstone.de and uh, I used LinkedIn so so LinkedIn I took prime version premier version because I wanted to compare the profiles I wanted to see um, how much um, um, I can improve and I was also doing some LinkedIn learning courses so it was a great platform and also you can compare your profile with others you can also uh, see uh, to the jobs you have applied are you on 10% 25% so it's a great platform so try to use or take the premium version of LinkedIn when you are looking for a job it would pay you off trust me so it's a really great platform the third or uh, fourth platform that I used was not a platform but I actually googled so I googled uh, the companies that I was interested or related to so always use Google to find out which companies are you eligible to so I used Google so you can search for the company since I was also interested in sensor companies so I created a list of all the companies that are manufacturing sensors or making and doing R&D in the sensors so that way I was able to find a lot of uh, companies and also you can uh, send unsolicited application in those uh, companies even when there is no job or vacancy available you can contact the HR, you can send your own application. So it's a great way um, um, to 
yeah contact the hr and you never know you might get something because sometimes they do not uh present or they do not have the uh open positions uh on these indeed and stepstone websites but they are looking for a candidate or they might be looking for so far if you're enjoying my video please give it a like and also subscribe to my channel because that will motivate me to create more content and also subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any new video any important video that i share each week so you are the first one to watch those video and also leave a comment down below whatever you want to ask about the job about the opportunities i would love to reply so yeah let's move forward in this video i was feeling a little bit uh, warm so now i've put off my jacket but yeah as you can see this place is bomb and my camera is also bomb it it usually traces me whenever wherever i'm going so the other thing that i did was i was also looking for a job for example on linkedin like i said and there are a new trend that i'm seeing these days which is about graduate trainee program and this is the program that i have applied in my company so i'm a graduate trainee it looks like you are a trainee but they are going to pay you like a normal salary which is uh, in between 50 to 60000 euros per year so it's a great program for those who don't know where they want to go second it offers mostly jobs are in english so it's an international work culture that you will be experiencing you can also explore a bit on job rotation so every four to six months you have a new job rotation in which you will be working in a new department new team and it's a great place so that's the reason why i applied to these graduate programs and don't think that it's a graduate program so it will be actually uh, giving you less money but it's giving you exactly the same salary that you would expect after doing your master's so it is also a bachelor student is also eligible to apply and also master student but there will be a salary difference based on the degree so that is a great way if uh, you are not sure where you want to go so you can enter into management you can enter into engineering but you need a little bit of work experience so mine was uh, so like you already know I am an engineer I have done my masters in scientific instrumentation if you don't know about my journey here's the link watch this video and there are a hell lot of videos that I've created so watch them one by one spend some time on my YouTube channel and you will come to know about my journey so I was an engineer and I applied to this management of related procurement related uh, graduate trainee program which is a, a procurement graduate trainee and I got selected but the process wasn't very easy I would say so these graduate programs have multiple uh, kind of uh, rounds for selection so the first round would be analytical test where they will be testing your uh, mathematics some language skills or some problem solving skills some timed basically timed uh, questions will be there so it's kind of a uh, analytical and also problem solving and decision making test the second round is video round where you will be uh, having a video uh, like a computer on computer you will dis they will display a question they will give you uh, I guess around one minute to prepare and then you will have one minute or one to two minutes to answer those questions um, so it, they will ask like four to five questions usually that's what I've seen because I've given so many uh, graduate trainee schemes I applied and I got selected to I guess three four so I know what I'm talking about so they will give you three four um questions and then you will have to reply this is mostly about why do you want to work with our company why have you chosen this graduate trainee program um what do you want to achieve from this graduate trainee program so it's mostly about that so the third round is your assessment center which will be quite difficult because because it's from the morning from nine until the evening you will have like interview you will have some i guess some problem solving things it could be a presentation that you have to give it could be a, a 
case study that you have to solve it could be uh, that together with other people with other interviewees you have to work together and find a solution so they're checking how good you are with the other colleagues or are you able to work in a group so that is uh, could be a role play could be anything so my tip would be to be yourself in assessment center don't um, try to put on somebody else's words or somebody else's personality just be yourself um, say what you believe in say what you think and it will all be good so that was what i did so i was in india as it was around from 12 around 12 till nine o'clock in the uh, in the night so it was very tiring very uh, kind of this thing so assessment centers also have like three stages so overall it's like five stage that you have to cross okay in order to get into these graduate trainee programs so like I said struggle you have to choose your own battle whether you want to um, learn German and find a job easily so learning German would be another difficult task or you want to apply to these uh, limited positions and also high competition and this kind of assessment centers program in order to grab the job so choose your battle German or this job battle that you will have to face once uh, you do not know German so that was my thing and I'm really happy after after completing six months my probation period is done graduate trainee programs are really amazing I've completed my six months and I can say that it's been wonderful working uh, with my current company as a graduate trainee because here I have the opportunity to learn from uh, different people, work with different people because there are rotation and also you network with so many people. So it's a great opportunity uh, to also understand the company's culture and also work. And after completing your graduate program, uh, they offer you a fixed position. So my program is gonna last for two years. And after that, once I've understood I'm gonna be taken as a permanent employee hopefully so that's the scheme and they also give you some international placement opportunity I hope I will also get one it's a great way in which you can learn you can earn and you can also learn the company's culture and you're paid good really so it's a great way um, that was it from my side and I work in one of these uh, buildings and there are so many people who are chilling here after work they are having some drinks coffees nice it's so nice let me show you like people are going crazy over these buildings and i love it i've never come here before but today i was just looking at the places to go um nearby and i saw this great place found a real gem where I can just sit, come and relax myself. So yeah. So yeah, guys, that was it from my side. I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope you like it. And if you did, please give it a like and also comment down below if you want to see a day in my life as a working professional now. Uh, or also if you want to see a Düsseldorf tour. So that would be great. Let me know. I would love to show you this place. Nice. Uh, amazing and now it's summer so I can go out with a really nice vibe all around the city so yeah let me know in the comments looking forward to it and I hope to see you in my next video with more useful information until then bye and don't forget to subscribe please subscribe because that motivates me to create more and more content for you okay bye how cool this place is I'll work in a really cool place. Even in India, I used to work in a very cool place, which was which was DLF, Cyber City. So I work in a very cool places. Look at this, Ryan Tower. I'm going to make a video and a vlog of my city, Dusseldorf. So I just love this city, love the cool vibe of this city. People are chilling, having beer. So, 